Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be another hair video. This is how I achieve sleek hair. Now I'm talking about silky, straight, shiny, beautiful hair. If you guys want to know how I achieve this look, keep watching. My hair has grown out so much. It has been, I think about six months since I last got it cut. And look, I don't even have curtain bangs anymore. My curtain bangs are already past my chin. And I know I say that in every hair video, but my hair is so insanely long. So yesterday I already did a quick blowout and I washed my hair. I'll just briefly talk about what I used. I went in with my favorite blow dryer. This one is the Revlon one. This is their new version. Love this one so much. There is this other one with a smaller barrel that's more rounded. I kind of want to test that out and compare it to this one. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Before going in with heat, I like adding some products. These are both by Gizu. This one is the Propolis Infused Heat Protect spray and the other one is the honey infused leave-in conditioner these are really lightweight very important for your hair one to protect it from the heat and then also if you have drier hair like me and you have textured hair this is so important i never used to use a leave-in conditioner until i started using the curly girl method and kind of trying out different products but a leave-in conditioner is where it's at i thought this would be really heavy but it's not it's very lightweight i love the gazoo signature scent it's so lovely this is a must that's how i created this it was a little more voluminous at the top yesterday because this is second day so now let's go in with the straightener one of you guys wanted a how to straighten your hair tutorial and i felt like isn't that a little too obvious but then I thought about it more and I was like, actually there are some really great tips because how I used to straighten my hair in high school to how I do it now in my 20s is very different. And using a new straightener makes all the difference because I've had the same one for almost 10 years. This one is from Sleek. There are two titanium plates, which makes such a big difference. This is a two inch straightener and this straightens my hair like butter. I don't even have to go over each section too many times, maybe once or twice. And actually doing a blowout first helps get all of the texture out of my hair. So it is already pretty straight. I always set the temperature to around 360. I never have to use 400. I find 400 to be way too hot for my hair texture. All the products that I mentioned today will be linked down below, so definitely check them out. I'm going to quickly brush my hair. This one is the Kristen S Medium Detangling Brush favorite brush. If you've been here since the beginning, then you already know this is my favorite brush. Even my hairstylist uses this brush and that says something because she's a professional and I am not. Okay, and my hair is already a pretty good middle part. For someone who has a widow's peak, that's a pretty good middle part. So what I like to do is I like to separate my hair in half, put one up so I don't even have to worry about it and it's just out of the way. Now, if you have thicker hair like me, I like going in sections if I want a super straight hair look. Like I want it so straight, like a piece of paper. If you're going for something like that, sectioning your hair is pretty important. And then all the hair that's behind my ear, I will section that back. And now I'm just dealing with this. You can section it off even more. So if I take this part, which I know additional steps, but it makes all the difference. So I take a smaller section. I start at the top. And right now it's making that sound because I just put uh, the heat protecting spray. Just kind of keep that in mind. And just go slowly down. Look how straight this is. I only went over it once. Isn't that incredible? This is so good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go one last time and that's it. Honestly, you probably don't even have to do it one more time. But see how I'm going slowly? Now this is straight. Since I did the blow up before straightening my hair, it makes it go a lot faster. Straightening my hair used to be such a pain in the butt because I wasn't always the biggest fan of the results. One, because it wasn't like that sleek, straight look that I wanted. It was straight, but it was still kind of poofy and frizzy. It makes all the difference. One, you blow dry your hair first. Two, you get a new straightener. If you've been using the same one for years, time to get a new one. And then smaller sections. Smaller sections was a big one and that really helped with my hair looking poofy because I noticed when I got my hair done professionally, was it, I think it was last year, 
and I got it straightened, very simple, just like this, she used smaller sections and that really was it. And she really took her time doing it. This is looking so good and it's only been a few minutes. And I didn't add any serum yet, and it's very shiny. So soft, and there are no little bumps or anything. Since I'm doing the same thing on the other side, and I don't want to be repetitive, I'll be right back. When was the last time you saw my hair this straight? It is so silky soft, and also so long. I don't even know if all my hair fits into the frame, but we're not done yet. Now let's get into a couple of styling products. First, I like going in with a serum. This one is by Silk, they have their own. This one is a nice, it's a bit of a heavier serum. So I only use one pump. If your hair is more fine, I'd probably use half a pump. Since it is on the thicker side, as you guys can see, I like to warm it up in between my fingers, really get it in there. I focus it towards the shaft of my hair, down, and then on my ends. And it smells so nice too. Now, if you have any flyaways, like I have a little bit going on. You could either go in with a hairspray. I also like going in with something completely different. This is a hair balm. It's the Kristen S Recovery Balm. Mine's a bit messed up because I've had it for a while. This is so good. This is affordable. You can get it at Target and Ulta. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. Keep in mind, this product will add some shine to your hair. I don't mind that because I am going for this very sleek look. So that to me is just going to make my hair look even better. But what I like to do is I like to warm it up. Because if you don't do this and if you were to directly go on it, sometimes you'll get a, um, some of the product... Um, bits like pieces of it in your hair and if you have dark hair like me, it's a little more noticeable So I just like to warm it up into my fingers a little bit then oh my gosh my dog's fur is in this no surprise to that and then I just go like this and I just press down. Do you see that shine right there? So pretty. Because I have a widow's peak, the hair that's towards the front of my face, that frames my face, it can be kind of finicky and go wherever it wants to go. So what I'll do is, now that this is warmed up, I'll just put a little bit right here. Then I'll go in with a brush like this. This is really important. This is a, a teasing brush, but I'm not gonna use it to tease. I'm just gonna lay the hair flat against my head. And then these baby hairs will stick better because of that product that I used. I don't know why, the hair that's right here in the front, I just don't have as much hair compared to the hair that I have over here. And this is my sleek hair routine. These products really make a difference from just okay straight hair to wow, your hair is sleek, shiny, and silky. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. <music>